Okay, so the important thing is you have to break up both numbers into tens and units. You're going to rename them. So we're going to take 23, and I'm going to say 23 is a 20 plus a 3. This part you guys know, we've practiced it. And then I'm going to take 31, and I'm going to rename 31 as well. And 31 will be a 30 and a 1. Okay, now this is a plus sum, so I have to make a little plus there to show I'm going to plus to remind myself. And now I'm going to start adding them together. So 20 plus 30 will give me 50. A 3 plus a 1 will give me 4. And now this is my tens and my units, so I have to put them in together again. And a 50 and a 4 will give me 54. And that is my answer. Then I hop to the top and I write the answer in here. 54. Okay guys, so often the minus sum is the confusing one. Because although we are minusing, we write a plus. I'll explain to you now. Because we are taking 48 and we are renaming it, we are not uh, plusing or minusing anything yet. We are just renaming it. So 48 will still be 40 plus 8. We write a plus there because 48 is a 40 and a 8. Okay, let me just do this one a bit neater. Plus an 8. Now, the same with 25. I'm going to take the 20 and the 5. And I'm going to say a plus. Because we're just breaking out. We're not plusing or minusing anything yet. We're breaking it up in 25. It's a 20 and a 5 together. Gives me 25. So that's why I write a plus. Then, I want you to always remember. But now, the next step we have to minus because this is a minus sum. So now we're going to get to minus. So now we're going to say 40 minus 20 gives me 20. And 8 minus 5 gives me 3. Now I've got a tens and a units again. So this time I'm also going to plus them together to get my final answer. I'm going to say 20 and a 3 will give me 23. I'm going to hop to the top and write it in here. 23.